Bible is laced with constant references to the time when our Savior will restore all things and complete the kingdom. And continually, the writers of the New Testament were praying, come, Lord Jesus. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17 says, the spirit and the bride say, come, and let him who hears say, come, and let him who is thirsty say, come. These suffering saints who wrote these words weren't trying to escape Earth's problems. No, they were happy in their hardships because they knew that heaven would reveal the earth-shaking significance behind each and every tear and affliction. Because now here on earth is our only opportunity, and every day our small drastic obediences and trusts in Jesus Christ have a direct bearing on our increased capacity for joy and worship and service in heaven. Suffering stretches our soul down here on earth so that we might receive more of heaven's joy when we arrive on that celestial shore. And I'm like the writers of the New Testament. I'm gonna liken myself to a soldier watching on the watchtower, a worker hoeing for the harvest, an athlete straining toward the finish line. You and I, we are virgins waiting wide-eyed in the night with lamps trimmed and our hearts afire expectant and looking and anticipating and scanning the horizon for the arrival of our beloved. For the New Testament writers who suffered and suffered greatly, the world was no party. No, rather they were anticipating the coming party. And we join them in saying, come, come, come quickly, Lord Jesus.